All right, guys, welcome to episode 131 of Don't Talk TV. Is yours truly low key? Got John here with me, got the dogs put up. You already know how the fuck we're rocking, man. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, hit that notification bell so you're notified every time we drop. Hit the like button, leave a comment, go down in the description, get yourself a little merch or something. You know what, you know what I'm saying? It would we definitely appreciate it. But besides that, man, go ahead, light your blunt, light your JPEG. Your bomb, pack your bowl, get your edibles, get your fucking dab bricks, whatever the fuck you do, get your puff go, whatever, man. Yeah, we your with the shit. Your Delta Eights. Yeah, your Delta Eights that are supposed to fucking not. I you tried know, the gummy, THC. by the way, and that shit fucked me up. Yeah, bro. Facts. facts. That shit fucked me but the listen, fuck man, up. Listen, man. Welcome back. Welcome back. It's a beautiful Thursday. How we feeling today, Johnny? How we feeling? Good, good, good. I got a little bubble guts going on right now. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Dog got a little booze poos. Just a little booze poos. Yeah. Nothing, we, nothing major. Drank a lot of wine this weekend. My dog. <laughs> yo, listen. <laughs> I'm not trying to put you out there, bro, but... This nigga be going through wine <laughs> Like a fucking midwife Fucking like, like a midlife crisis wife Yeah I don't know man I just This is my first time Really getting into wine And I, I'm like man I need to try this I wonder what this tastes like I wonder, And I just want to try it I'm Nah like, wine fuck. is better bro It's like I feel like it's better Yeah I've been waking up Really good I don't Yeah you're out. not hungover It's healthier for you If you don't overdo it Yeah Like it's healthier for you And shit like that But yeah Wine is the shit I like white wine I like like yeah. Sweet or white wine I don't like the the like More bitter red wine And shit like yeah, that Yeah I'm starting to figure that out too Like yeah, I don't I really like, like that wine. Bitter shit but I don't know Some of my boys be making fun of me Like ah oh, you're fucking gay bro And I'm just like bro Listen like, that shit's class that, Niggas could talk shit All they want but that's wine is like it's like being into cigars exactly literally like yeah it's like being into cigars or being into like different strains of marijuana it's all like related like there's a culture behind it and if you don't understand it it's cool yeah i mean but, like i there's another thing like i can like if my girl likes wine then it's something that we have something in common with you know what i mean and i can right. sit down and get drunk with her and, or yeah, get tipsy like, with her yeah, on, a, yeah. on a bottle of wine and like, a bottle of wine's not expensive bro. It's not It's like fucking five like, bucks Depending on what you get But it's really not expensive It's like five bucks bro yeah, For like, like a barefoot A like big the, one is like Twelve dollars or some shit And you get a fucking jug Of that shit Yeah bro. Like, like the brand barefoot Like it's like rated Like number one Like best price And best quality And it's true Because it's fucking Pretty yeah, fucking good, good. I'm like good that. But yeah man Shout out to the wine drinkers You know what I'm saying Y'all go down in the comments, let us know what y'all like to sip on, if it's wine, if it's beer, if it's fucking Trulies, if it's fuck whatever. I like it, I like it. I, I like, like to it. pop the cork once in a while. <laughs> Show her pop a cork. Yeah, you know I mean? I'll tell you what. But listen, man, first thing that I want to get into a little bit today, it was really a question. Question for the audience, question for you, Johnny Boy. Does background play a part in personal development? Like, um, does where you come from, like... Your parents, yeah, like where you live, social economic status, like all that. Does that play a part into like how a person develops? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And uh, I don't think it's about like it's 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 more of like a culture issue. If that makes sense, like the culture of like where you're from and mm -hmm. what what what's your environment, like the culture, Facts. bro. Like that's, that's just what that's what it is. So when it comes down to like, oh man, like. Only black people do, you know, the act that way. It's not true. It's not true because I know it's a not, lot of fucking yeah. white people that act that way, you know, yeah, ghetto and, and, and crazy and, and Hispanics. Like, it's a culture issue. It's how you were raised and what, what what's your environment and shit like that. Like, so, yeah, I think that plays a really big part of it. Really big part of it because I know some very professional black people. Mm -hmm. Very, very professional black people, bro. Like. To the point where it's like, man, you could tell like you were raised right. You were, you know, you came from a good family. Yeah, of course. You know, shit like that. So it's a culture issue. So yeah, that that that's a big part of, you know, your background and yeah, and and, 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 where, and when you're people, and when you're headed. I feel like a lot of people don't acknowledge that though. I feel like a lot of people feel feel the opposite, where they're like that has nothing to do with, you know, like a lot of things. And I feel like it's that's not true. Like. There's way there's statistics out here. Numbers don't fucking lie. People that don't have both parents in a household are way more likely to to ha be into other things. Like there's just statistics. So when you when you put all these variables into somebody's life, it it ends up it usually ends up a certain way. You know what I mean? And but I feel like that also comes down to a person's mentality and realizing you're not in a good environment. You know what I mean? And being like, yo, fuck this. Like, I don't want to be around this shit no more. Yeah. You know, because it's weird, bro. Like, 
<clears throat> when you come from a different, like, when you come from an environment, like, you call it the hood, the ghetto, whatever the fuck you want to call it, it's, like, frowned upon almost to, like, want to do anything besides, like, play sports, rob somebody, or, like, sell fucking drugs. Like, for real. Like, people look at you, like, so weird. Like, oh, you don't want to be a rapper? You don't want to be a fucking, like, and it sounds fucking stupid, but that's really how it is. Well, you're not accepted you know when you come back. Yeah, like people are like, oh, you change. You know, you know, you don't be in the hood every day. Yeah, it's like, bro, you can't change being in the same fucking environment every day. That's insanity. Doing the same shit over and over again is insanity. And there's people that, to me, are insane. They're 40, 50 years old. They're still fucking gang banging. They're still sitting on the the same fucking corner they've been sitting on for the last 25 years. Still smoking a fucking cigarette and a, drinking a beer. Not doing shit with their fucking life. You know what I'm saying? But those are the supposed OGs that us younger people are supposed to look up to. And it's like, nah, bro. Like, nah. I'd rather look up to a fucking Waka Flocka or some shit. <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, dead ass. Waka Flocka! Yo, when that song, got <laughs> away, you moving, got me in a trance, hey, DJ, turn me up, up. ladies, it's just your chance. Now, facts, your chance. That was, right? that, that was y'all jam. Out. That yeah. was facts. Yeah. You speaking facts. That was when that was the first, like, turn up in a while, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah no, no, listen. Besides uh, the Soldier Boy. Bitches is loving that shit. And ladies, no offense, I'm only calling you bitches because I don't know your names individually. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. It. You can call us whatever you want to call yeah, us. Yeah, you call us niggas, dogs, whatever the fuck. You can call me a fucking. I don't care what you call me, baby. Call me a cracker. Mm-hmm. I don't care. I don't give a fuck. Cracker? <laughs> <laughs> Polly? Polly water cracker? Nah, you remember, <laughs> you remember that movie, Polly? The fucking little bird, the little green bird? Yeah, I remember that. That shit. was sad. I haven't movie. seen that shit in that so shit, long. That shit made me cry. It was like Charlotte's Web. Charlotte's Web is. Yeah, Charlotte Web made me cry movie. too. Yeah, Yo, and, they fucked us up as kids. And, uh, no wonder we have emotional issues. And, and We're watching our favorite little fucking character be fucking murdered. Remember the diary when the diary yeah. came out? Nah. And they died together at the end. It was like a, it was a sad story. Holy I forgot. Shit. But now, I, was, I remember uh, the first time I heard about Romeo and Juliet. Though I was like, y- what yeah. the fuck? Romeo He's, and Juliet. I'll never kill myself for a girl. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. I mean, like, there's people that fucking, you know, they get married and all, and they die together. Like, I know somebody. Nah, person, yeah. it, it, nah listen. That's some, usually, like, older Juliet. couples, usually they, it's weird. Sometimes they die real close to each other. There's some people that, like, that shit affects you like that. Where it's like, you've been with somebody for the last 40, 50, 60 years, and they pass away. You're on, They're only here for mm-hmm. another year or two. You know what I'm saying? It's weird. Yeah, right? yeah. It's like my, my grandma, you know, my grandma and my grandpa. Mm-hmm. You know, grandpa just fucking passed away not even a year ago. Yeah, a year ago yeah, in September. Yeah. And uh, I was that's, like. That's hard, bro. When yeah, you've been grandma, with somebody your whole life. That's gra- your whole life. Gra- yeah, grandma was just like, you know, she brought it up again. She's like, ah, like, yeah, fucking grandpa would fucking say something like fun. Like she would mention something about grandpa. I'm like, damn, you know. Yeah, it's like bro. it's crazy, bro. When you're with somebody for a certain amount of time, it's like fuck. You get used to them, and you can't live without them. Yeah, man, and it's like you can't blame people for like being hurt and like not wanting to move on after something like that. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, nigga. My my question though, my question is is like, yo, do you when you fall in love with someone, do you fall in love with them instantly, or do you fall in love with the stuff that hap- like what they do for you, and like you know, just like. Like, do you fall in love with a person just because you fall in love with them, or you do, do you fall in love with them because of the things that they do, and 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 throughout the process of you being together, like you really appreciated those those moments, and then you fall in love. I feel like it's different for for everybody, but I ultimately feel like people have this thing in their head; they have like an ideal person of who they want, and. They fall in love when they find somebody that's close enough to that, like, checklist. (laughs) You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. But I feel like most people end up, like, falling in love. I feel like you're really in love. If you fall in love, y'all fall out of love and fall back in love. You know what I'm saying? Like, you guys break up and then you guys, like, go on a break? Maybe not break up, but like you, every fucking couple has to go through their turbulence. You know yeah, what I'm saying? So if yeah. you're a couple, that's why like couples that are like been twenty married like 15, 20 years, they laugh at couples that are like a year in because it's like you haven't even had your first real argument. Yeah, you haven't had your first real argument. That you know what I'm saying like it, you got to go through shit to to become stronger as a couple. 
You know what I mean? So, but when it comes to that love shit, man, I don't know. I don't think I've ever been in love. I can't speak on that. You know what I'm saying? I really can't, dog. Yeah, like somebody fucking, you know, taking care of you and shit like that. Like people, like it's all cool. It's all fun and games and shit. Like, yeah, I'm single. I'm single and shit. <laughs> and then when you're fucking 40, 50 years old at yeah, the club, like who the fuck is this guy? Yeah, like, yo, he's like, listen, this like, fucking guy got Beijing like, in don't his fucking you, head. Don't you have fucking grandkids? No, like bro, like facts, by yeah. now Like where, why yeah. are you here Go home nah, Like bro. for real You so, gotta know when your time's up Yeah Like it's a young man's world And unfortunately We're not gonna be young men forever Yeah Right now is our time To take You know Take advantage And do what we have to do Start families Do You know what I'm saying Set yeah. up our lives as men Yeah But when you're 45 50 years old My nigga like it's not over for you, bro. Nah. It's like, my nigga, you're in the fourth quarter. You're going to meet somebody that has kids already and had a Facts. family before. They have so kids. You, they ha might have grandchildren yeah. like you have grandchildren. And if you're and willing, children, yeah. you know, like, if you're willing to accept that, then that's awesome. You know what I mean? That's cool. But like, who's going to wipe your ass and take care of you? Like when you're sick, like who's going to take care Listen. of your daughter if you die? Like, do you, do you have a good woman that's going to raise your daughter? Right? Yeah. And ultimately that's what, that's what money comes down to. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Cause Money isn't everything. We've talked about it so much, and I always say the same shit. Money isn't everything, but it fucking helps with everything. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> bless you, bro. Thanks. But yeah, bro, like, if you're in a situation where, like, you know your kids aren't going to take care of you, bro, and you don't have a bag, like, you don't have money saved up to, like, Hire a nurse, twenty four hour service. I don't know that shit's cheap. Hospices, like all these places, are fucking expensive, bro. None of that shit's cheap or free. Yeah. So, if you don't have the bag to take care of yourself, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's gonna, it's, it might be a hard road at the end. You know, like, but that's why we gotta work our ass off, bro. So when we're fucking 70, 80, 90 years old and we're there, nigga, we're like, fuck that. If my kid don't want to take care of me, yeah, I'll take care of me, bitch. I got, I got my fucking nurse. She's hot. I had a, <laughs> I, had, I had a wake up call where it was kind of just like, you know, if somebody like I had a conversation with my boy and you know I was talking about, man, I'm not used to a girl that's like super busy. You know, I'm usually the busy one where it's like she, you know, she's clean, clingy on me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, she's, like, always hitting me up, always, you know, like, right. or she, you know, she always wants to see me and shit like that. I'm so used to that. So the first time that I've been, like, like, actually talking to somebody that's, like, really fucking busy, that's re legitly really fucking busy. You know what I mean? And that's crazy. He's like, well, if somebody's too busy for you, that means that they don't like you because they'll make time for you. And that's true, too. That's a true statement. Yeah, but. But. I feel like. That's listen, not. Listen, man. It. The same way that we were just saying we're young, we're not going to be young forever, we got to take advantage of certain things right now, women are thinking the same thing. Exactly. Bro. When you're in your fucking mid-20s, 20s, 30s, early 30s, like, you're fucking setting yourself up for life. Like, these are the fundamental years to do that. So, sometimes it's not always about, like, dating around and doing this or, like, just, like, sometimes that's not your main focus. And you might want to do it and, like, yeah. but it's hard, bro. That's why, like, Entrepreneurs usually date entrepreneurs because they understand each other's lifestyle. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a certain lifestyle that comes with certain things. And it's just like, yeah, bro, if you want the same way that we tell women, like, yo, if you want a, a, a if you want a successful man, you're going to have to deal with a busy man. It goes the same way with women. Like women, if you want a, a, a boss bitch, bro, you're going to have to deal with that. Type exactly. Of shit. And that's what I'm saying. It's like if you, it has to go both ways, Yeah, it has to. You know, so you just got to make time and make it possible. You know what I mean? You could try and like, you know, but sometimes there's not enough time in a day, bro. There's not. And that's that's the fucking thing, man. Like people talk about a work life balance and I don't believe in that shit. I believe that you just make like you either work your ass off for your like there's an, you can never everything can't always be balanced. There's a lot of unbalanced things in this universe. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. and. A lot of successful people, they don't have a great relationship with their kids, bro. That 1%, that top 1% where they're like fucking millionaires, billionaires, and fucking trillionaires, they're, a lot of them don't have a great relationship with their kids, but that's because they chose. It's like, bro, I'm going to spend the rest of my life focusing on this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it sucks, but that's like that's really what it comes down to. This life choices, bro. And if you want to be at a certain level in life, you're going to have to invest so many hours. And it's going to take away from your time with your kids, your time with your wife, time with your family, time with your friends, all that shit. And I noticed, I noticed that God's going to keep putting you in the same situation with different people until you get it right. 
Yeah. You there's certain lessons that you gotta yeah. learn in life. And it's like a video game almost, bro. It's like until you learn that lesson, you're gonna have to keep going through it. Yeah. And that that's, that's really all it comes down to. Until you get right. it. Until you fucking get it. Because no you can keep ignoring the signs all you want, but they're going to keep fucking coming, bro. And they're going to keep fucking... You're going to keep going through the same shit. Facts. Through the That's same the shit. That's crazy, bro. And uh, I noticed, man, like, when every every situation, bro, like, even negative situations is like... You got to think of a positive thing mm. out of the negative. And, like, I, it's hard. It's hard to do that sometimes. I'm, like, I'm going through it right now. I'm just like, man, I can't believe this shit happened. This shit happened. But, like, I look at the positive, like, well, this happened, you know? And then you just balance it out. There's good with the bad, man. And it sometimes it might seem like there's more bad than good or there might really be more bad than good going on. Yeah. But listen, man, like I said, bro, life life has a funny way of not really being balanced all the time, bro. And that's just part of life. That's just part of life. Life isn't fair, man. It's just not fair, dog. Period. It's yeah, not. it's not fair. It's never going to be fair. Yeah, man. But ultimately, bro, you just got to be yourself, bro. You got to be yourself regardless of what it looks like to other people, dog. Like, I'm a firm believer in that, man. Like, you know what's best for you. You know how to move. You know how you know yourself, right? Yeah. And it's like, it's great. It's great to talk to other people and take advice and take from their lessons and their life stories and you know, things that other people have been through because that's what you should do. You should look for guidance for people that have been through it. Yeah. But ultimately, you know what's best for yourself. And you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you, like, you know what's best for you. Yeah. And being, being yourself is the best way to get to where you want to get Yeah, to. especially in a relationship, being yourself, because, like, if you show your true colors later on, they're going to be like, who the fuck are you? Who is who is this person? Yeah, you know what facts, I mean? It's like, facts. I don't even know who this fucking person is anymore, because it's like... A lot of people put on a front at first. Yeah. And that's what happens. A lot of people put on this front, and they try to, like, they just try to put on this, like, character, and then that always fails. Eventually, like, a person's true colors are going to come out. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, that's when people are like, oh, fuck, I, this isn't the person I thought it was. Yep. You know, and it's... That leads to just, you know, being disappointed and just not trusting people and shit like that, but listen, man, life goes on. You gotta fucking do what you do. You know what I'm saying? And just, again, man, <clears throat> my bad, guys. Again, just be yourself. Don't let nobody fucking tell you different. And uh, yeah, man. Yeah, you get seriously. to where you want to get to. Just being yourself, straight up. Being your fucking self, bro, because that's important, bro. At the yeah. end of the fucking day, like yeah, be your fucking self. The like, tables turn, man. Tables turn. Tables turn. You know what I'm saying, like it, like it's crazy, right? Like life, life is crazy, bro. Sometimes you might be watching something and be like, "Damn, bro!" Like this, this fucking guy, like he's just a fucking piece of shit, but he's where he's at in life. And you start fucking comparing yourself. That's the thing about social media. You see what I'm saying? Like, people compare themselves. And it's like, you got to remember, bro, the tables turn, man. Just work. Like, work on yourself. Work on becoming a better person. And, like, your time will come. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just the like tables Russ. always turn. Russ said it in the song. He's like, I'm going to shit on you. I mean, you're going to shit on me, but I'm going to shit on you. That's just like... He said that in a bar, and it's true. He's like, that's just the rotation of life. You're going to shit on me, yeah, I'm going to shit on you. We're just, all going to shit on each other yeah. at one point. We all have our Escobar season. That was from Nas, yeah. too. He's like, yeah, we all got an Escobar season. It's true. It's true, man. The dog, Listen, bro. The, the sun shines on a different dog Yeah, every different every For different real? day. But, yeah, man, like, the tables turn. So, y'all just keep working, man. Like, your time's coming, bro. Like, people, like, everything ain't always what it's seen. You know what I'm saying? Like, you never know what's going on behind the scenes, you know what I'm saying, that might make somebody fucking shoot to the top or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, something, it could be negative or, like, good, yeah, too. Like, it yeah, might facts. motivate you, you know facts. what I mean? Like, that's just life, bro. That's some crazy shit, though. Now, you had a question for me earlier. I know that you were mentioning something. Yeah, bro, listen, man, I got a question for you, Johnny. I got oh, a question shit. for the public. This is scary. Listen, this is real talk, man. I just want to know. Oh, shit. Would you rather take a million dollars... Or take the blueprint on how to get a million dollars, how to make a million. Man, that's a good question, you know. But I'm gonna take the million. You gonna take the million? I'm gonna take the million, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it into more millions. Mm. You feel me? Because I'm gonna find the blueprint. Because when you have money, you're around people with other money, and then they show you how to get it. Mm. 
that He's, makes that makes a little bit of sense. He liked that. Uh, Thought I about. I see it. how you justified it. You seen that? But I feel like nah. I'm gonna take that blueprint. What do I say? You gonna take the blueprint I like Jay Z? I'm gonna take the blueprint. I'm serious. Like Jay Z? Like, no, no, no. Why, is that? Going Why to, is that? Like it's like an actual blueprint of like this is how you do like step by step, bro. Because there's different ways to do shit. Yeah. Like trust me, bro. There's blueprints to things where like people try it and they're like, holy shit, I never thought it would work, but it really does. You know what I mean? Like yeah. So to me, bro, I'd rather know, I'd rather take like a business model and apply it and start a business that's gonna make me a million dollars. Because once you do that, you have the blueprint, bro. You could go start five businesses and they're all gonna be successful because you know what the fuck you're doing. You know that's yeah. why these successful guys are successful, bro. Because they they have a they could apply the blueprint to multiple businesses and they got you know money I mean? to like, pay other people to do certain shit too. Yeah, like that's it. That's how it goes. But that's you, crazy. you fuck around, like you get that blueprint, you run it up, make your own million. You know what I mean? Now you got the knowledge. Knowledge is always worth more than the money, dog. Nah, for real. Dead ass. Yeah, bro. That was funny when uh oh when when Millie, what was his name? Millie's Yeah, he yeah, was just like the, the, Millie's, man. the artist, man. And he was just like, yo, he said, Money when people say that money don't make you make you happy, but when I bailed out of jail, I was motherfucking happy or some <laughs> shit like that. I was like, yo, that's so true. Yeah, nah, Millie's <laughs> killed that shit, bro. Like that's one of the newer artists, brother. I'm actually listening to, and I'm like, yo, like he got he got bars, real bars. Yeah, like, no auto tune, straight fucking bars, and punchlines, fucking people, metaphors, all types of shit, man. It, like he he got it. Like yeah. it reminds me of the era that I really grew up in, because like when I was ten years ago, fifteen years ago, bro, that music that that I love, bro, there was no real auto tune yet. Like I remember when Wayne started using the auto tune with Lollipop, and I was like. I was like, yeah, what I don't know. What the fuck is this? I like the song, though. I'm not going to yeah, flush, but yeah. I was like, what is this, bro? Like, a yeah. fuck, this nigga singing, but you don't know how to sing? I know you don't know how to sing. Yeah. <laughs> had a love. <laughs> if you have a madness, can you steal your heart? When nah. he came out with that, I was like, yo, my nah, dog nah, is hurt. My dog is crying at night. <laughs> Uh, but then he started coming out with this guitar, like he knew how to play. And yeah, he started I, skating and putting on leather fucking fit. leggings and fucking. And it just got weird for a second. I was like, "I'm sorry, Wayne. I love you." Yeah, but you're like, it's like that friend that you just got to start loving from a distance. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, bro. Like, there's a lot of stories that Drake be like, "Yeah, bro, you remember this, bro?" But you know what, Wayne will probably wouldn't remember. He said in one of his songs, "Yo, Wayne, <laughs> just let Wayne do his drugs, bro. It's okay." He's still like, going, which is crazy, and I feel like. I feel like people that don't do drugs die, but the drugs keep. <laughs> You're fucking stupid, but the bro. But peop- the people that yo, keep, I swear, that, yo, nigga, people overdose every day, <laughs> literally every day from drugs. But it's like he got money, bro. Yeah, you gotta think about it. When you got money, it's a lot easier to have access to shit that might not fucking kill you, because it's like. Trust me, bro. The shit that's killing people is like they're buying ten dollar fucking shitty dope bags on the street that's been stepped on three times, and it's got fentanyl in it. But when you're a millionaire, yeah, you're getting the real shit. Like it's not like it's different, bro. But it's still it'll still kill you, but it's a lot less likely to. That's you know crazy. I mean? It's weird. But that's just how it goes, bro. It's like getting legitimate fucking Xanax versus Xanax that's made on the street. The ones from the store are gonna like you could overdose on them, yeah. But it's gonna take a lot more pills than if you were to just take one fentanyl laced one. If you take one fentanyl laced fucking Xanax, you could die. You see what I'm saying? So it's like that. But that's yeah, man, that's, that's ridiculous, bro. That's ridiculous. I would never like. I would never. Do yeah, that. fuck that guy. Like say that. no to drugs, bro. Don't take no pills. Don't fucking take no drugs. Just man. say no, bro. You yeah, feel so bro. much better when you say no. When you have the willpower and you have yeah, like the like, mind no, power, I'm good, bro. It makes you feel good. Facts. Like when you walk away from that situation, you're like, wow, I could have just said yes and been cool like yeah, everybody like, else. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Fuck it. It's yeah. a good time, man. Fuck nah, all that. fuck that, bro. It, it's I ain't a, a follower. Time. That's yeah, one thing exactly. I that's one thing I was never like brought Facts. up to be was be a leader, don't be a follower. Yeah, bro. And that's you something can't. that you know, is very yeah. important. You can't you can't fucking 
Bro, listen, you can't be fucking doing that. Don't be following nobody, man. Be your own person. If you don't, if you're not with what's going on, let it be known. And you're, if those people are like, oh, lame ass nigga, fucking whatever well, it is, those lame. aren't your friends. Don't like, lame. your real friends will be like, no, your real friends will try to keep you away from that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, no, like, fuck that. Go do this, bro. Like, why are you doing that? Like, yeah, that shit. like those are the people you want around you. I had some friends tell me like, oh man, there was so much coke at this party, bro. I was thinking about doing. I was like, man, no. Nah. Yeah, like, like don't, that shit ain't don't cool, fucking bro. be that guy, yeah. bro. Like don't don't be that guy that starts doing coke at thirty two. Yeah, just like, because like like come on, bro. why'd you? That's fucking stupid. Don't be that guy that starts doing coke at any age. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. But it's like you know what I mean, though. Yeah, especially yeah. when you're an adult. Once you know better. Yeah, it doesn't matter what you're going. Like, there's people that it's weird, man. They lose they lose family, they lose member like uh, parents and shit. And like they get into hard drugs later on in life, like thirty in the thirties, forties, and it's like, damn, bro, like you waited till now to fuck your whole life up. Might as well have done that shit when you were eighteen. Yeah, it's like people joining <laughs> like, a gang at like twenty eight. I have no respect for you. <laughs> I don't. I'm not even twenty eight, bro. And the, just the simple fact that it's like you have gang meetings every week. Wait, wait, you gotta go fucking. You weren't jumped in. Yeah, it's like, oh, somebody, ble- yeah, I'm fucking triple OG, fucking bless, bless me. me in. It's like, blessed you in. It's, Bro, if you, you get don't get these up? knuckles to the fucking forehead, Did dog, you get stabbed or what? Like, what happened? Like, nah, what? it's not even that, bro. It's like, if you weren't fucking raised in that, we've talked about it a hundred times. <laughs> we always talk about the same shit again, but <laughs> yeah, who cares? Because there's a good message. Yeah. Bro, if you weren't raised in that, leave that shit the fuck alone. If that's not part of your real culture, leave that shit the fuck alone. Seriously. Like... There's people that are in that culture, grow up in those streets, and they still don't join fucking gangs. You know what I'm saying? And the real fucking gang members that are fucking, they think, they'd be like, yo, leave that kid alone, bro. Like, he's not, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Be like, leave him alone. He goes to school. He doesn't want to be with this shit. Like, just leave him alone. If you're not raised into it, yeah, exactly. Like, if you're not fucking born into it, like, your dad's not a fucking... You know, like an OG fucking crib. Like, what the fuck? Then what the fuck are you doing, bro? Like, even then, you being that OG crib father, you should t- want your kid to do different. Exactly. And be like, man, fuck that. Like, I could have been dead and gone. Like, nah, yeah. you going over here? Like, go fucking even biker gangs, something. shit like that. That shit gets that shit scary. Nah, bro, them niggas. People sleep on biker gangs. I know. When you see a hundred motherfucking bikes coming down the block, it's like. Damn, bro, that shit's intimidating. All them fucking Harleys and shit. You know them niggas got all types of shit. Did you remember that shootout that happened? That was like a big brawl and people yeah, were shooting. Yeah, you, a, know that, a, you know that you know that case? Yeah, that case ended and it was over like 250 people. They had mugshots and no one went to jail because no one snitched. They didn't know who. I mean, bro, that's what happens when you actually have integrity. Yeah. Because it's like I, I was talking with my mom about it last night. We were watching Cocaine Cowboys. If y'all haven't seen it, y'all should. It's a great fucking documentary. But it's like, bro, you got to take accountability for your fucking actions. And if you choose a certain lifestyle and you know the consequences, I could get killed. I could get shot. I could get stabbed. We could go to jail. When shit goes left, don't be a bitch. Because if that's the case, you shouldn't have fucking done it from the beginning. You should have been like, fuck that. I'm okay. I'll go do this. I'll go get a job, do something else. But if you choose a certain lifestyle, bro, like when shit hits the fan, bro, keep it solid. Like that's that's how I was raised with my mentality. It's like, keep it solid, bro. Because that speaks volumes of a person. It's like, it's weird, bro. It's like, it shows like the fucking rat in them. Like when you trap a fucking rat in a corner and they start squealing, that's what high picture motherfuckers when they choose a certain lifestyle and like, they just end up like snitching or turning. It's like, bro, don't be in that if you don't want to deal with those consequences. But yeah, man, I'll yeah, fucking tell you what. Don't do that. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, hit that like button. Hit the notification bell so you're notified every time we drop. You. Go down, get us some fucking merch. You know what I'm saying? And have a good day. And listen, tell somebody you love them. All right? Yeah. Peace and love. Positive Peace vibes. And love. Peace and love.